In this tutorial, you will learn how to visualize with Inventor, see the photorealism you gain on HP workstations with the latest NVIDIA Quadro graphics cards, and get some tips on optimizing your system. Also, view the Showcase and 3ds Max design tutorials to learn how to take your design to a higher level with the Autodesk product design suite. Hello, I'm Rex Salentine. In this video, we will explore the visualization capabilities of Autodesk Inventor. Let's look at how it works. First, you'll need to make sure that your model has the correct appearances. It's a pretty simple process, and using Autodesk appearance libraries ensures the same look in Showcase and 3ds Max design. By switching to realistic visual style, your product looks much more real. Notice that the appearance of the model changed when we turned on realistic visual style. This is because Inventor is using real-time rendering capability that engages the NVIDIA graphics card. The Inventor team works closely with NVIDIA to optimize performance, and the Quadro cards are the only NVIDIA card certified by Inventor. By turning on shadows, your design immediately looks more realistic. Start with ambient or self shadows, which are easily seen in less glossy areas. Notice that the ground shadows form when we activate all shadows. By only having standard lights on, you see the effect image-based lighting has on the scene. Now by only seeing the image-based lighting, you see that we need the standard light for focus light and shadows. Here are some tips to maximize inventor performance. Tip 1. Simplify your work by turning on common realistic shading options. Tip 2. Change hardware default to quality setting you will see instant higher quality results, less black dots, and even better real-time performance with the quality setting. Then if you need the performance mode again, it only takes a moment to switch. Tip 3. To obtain the best graphics performance, use HP's Performance Advisor, available on select HP workstations. This tool makes performance enhancements to your system and will let you know whether you have the recommended driver. In this case, our machine has the wrong version driver. Clicking on the download link will download the correct driver. So the next question is how to choose the correct graphics card on your new HP workstation, right? Choose K for Kepler. In this case, we're using 2.5 gig onboard graphics memory. So we need at least this amount of memory. Therefore, the Quadro K4000 would be the recommended graphics card choice. We've only just touched the surface of real-time realism inside of Inventor and the dependability of the HPZ workstation's analytical performance when coupled with the latest NVIDIA Quadro graphics. These technologies provide you the power you need to get the job done.